šis ir tiesi. Un Dainis Kreilis, kā vienmēr, nu, lielāko tiesi nav atnācis viens uz studiju, viņam ir arī viesi. Labvakar, Daini! Labvakar, labvakar! Un, Laiciņš labs, vai ne? Ripināties. Vasaras ir, atvainājumu visi cilvēki uz ritiņiem ļoti daudz pilsētas ielās īpaši, arī ne tikai pilsētās, bet laukos. Visi izmanto iespēju paripināties veiņā šodien tieši īstās siltās dienas. Un, un ir, tāpat tā... ripinoties, man arī šodien savās darba darīšanās ar pilsētu. Uh, suddenly I met to a couple from Paris. They, uh, I, tātad uh, es uh, jā, runāšu nebija... nedaudz angļu daļā šajā raidījumā. Bet tu nebija plānojis ar viņiem šodien nemaz raidījumā, tu tā pavisam netīši viņiem uzskrēji jā, visu un tad mainī uh, plānus. Tātad, uh, tātad es runāšu angliski un varbūt arī pasāk patulkoši. Yes, yes. So we have guests, uh, Jean-Pierre and uh, Arlette. Hello. 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 So you are from Paris. Yes, we are from come from France. from France, from Paris. From France yes. and Paris especially. And uh, you are bicycle tourists to, at the moment in Latvia. At this moment yes. and uh, always. <laughs> always, but always bicycle tourists. So uh, for how many years you do your uh, bicycle travels around uh, the Europe I suppose and not only? About 10 years. So you didn't start so late. You just basically just 10 years ago you started actively to ride around. Yes, uh, about yes. T- t- 10 or 12 years we we spend holidays on bikes. Okay. Ja sakar i mūsu viesi šodien šeit sodi ar, nu, desgan pieklaigā vecumā, tātad ies 10 gadus atpakaļ viņi ir sākuši uh, nodarboties ar šo te velo. 57, 58 gadu, bija, kad viņi sāka braukt ar riteņiem, tūrisim braucienos tātad, atkārt pa pasauli, pa Eiro. No Parīzes, no Francijas, vai mums ir Jeans Pierres un Arlet un uh, ja, Dains viņš ir sastaps um, šobrīd šeit Latvijā Rīgā un viņi mm-hmm. padalīsies tušan pieredzē, ka tad ir, nu, braukt pa Latviju. Yeah, exactly. So the topic of my show today uh, was uh, the t- bicycle tourism in Latvia. And uh, I was uh, preparing the ideas for the show and suddenly met you. You asked me for the right direction, uh, Jean-Pierre, and uh, I just uh, said, well... <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, uh, you, you, your direction is to... <laughs> you made the right <laughs> person. <laughs> to the radio. We can have a small discussion about bicycle infrastructure. Uh, so you have experience in the whole Europe. You yeah. rode a bicycle in South France, in Spain, in uh, Netherlands, in uh, Denmark, in Sweden, uh, also uh, Ireland, Hel- Ireland, Italy, Italy, Austria, Germany, uh, France, a lot of many small rides yes. around France. Uh, and now this is your first uh, bicycle trip uh, through Baltics. Yes. You yes. started in Tallinn. Yes. Uh, yes. And, uh, Tallinn, yeah. and uh, you d- are heading to? To go to... The Vilnius. Riga we are, and ah. after Vilnius, okay. and after we finish in uh, Varsovia. Oh, you're still heading to Poland? Poland, and yes. And what's your whole uh, time sc- uh, scale? Uh, how we many spend, weeks? We uh, spent five or six weeks. All right, that's quite a long time. And how did you decide to go in this trip? Did, was it, uh, did someone tell you to come to this uh, northern part of Europe? Uh, because last year it was very warm in France okay. and we look for the country not so warm so we go to <laughs> right Helsinki and yes. in Helsinki it was 24 it degrees was cold, yeah? and the sea Baltic in Archipel was 28 degrees in the sea <laughs> okay so yes, this year you, we said oh very good in the north so we go to Baltic uh, co- uh, countries yeah, so see something now. new but uh, your weather but, uh, was not so not the perfect. same weather <laughs> same weather that uh, yeah, last year but you will be lucky this week in Riga you will have great weather very warm uh, very, very good nice. for yeah. Riga yes tātad uh, mūsu viesi ir ceļojuši no Tallinas un brauc uh, jau nu tātad vairāk nedēļas un plāno doties līdz Varšavai. Ja tagad ir viņi Rīgā, vēl Rīgā. braukas līdz Viļņai. Un, un izvēlējās spēlē. mūsu reģionu tieši tāpēc, ka te viņiem ir patīkamāks klimats, uh, netika karsts kā dienas Francijā vasarā. Uh, so, the, this kind of is already a prognosis that I said five years ago that in South Europe uh, it will get more and more uh, hot, uh, so unbearable hot, that people come more to the north uh, in, holiday, in summer holidays. Yeah. The is weather it a trend? Is, the, the weather is very moving. There is a 21, 10 days ago in uh, France, mm-hmm. and uh, there was uh, 35 uh, one month ago. It's everywhere like that. So your first uh, impression about uh, infrastructure, bicycle infrastructure in Latvia? Uh, But if we meet you, it is because uh, we, we are follow it. the Euro... 13 road yeah. and we never see d- d- direction there is nothing 
in uh, Riga and around Riga uh, designed uh, for bicycle riders for bicycles, Euro uh, Euro, there is any time bicycle but we did not know if it is a uh, Euro Velo 13 or, or something so we else. ask you Ok. Pazot, so, varbūt bišiņi. Tātad, nu, mēs satikāmies tāpēc, ka šie turisti ceļotāji bija apmaldījušies uz Eiro Velo trasas lielās, viņi sakoja kartēji, un, nu, vienkārši nav nekur Latvijā zīmes, un tas ir diezgan skumīgi, tāpēc, nu, bet te pašā laikā viņi ir pozitīvi, jo arī te iegūst emocijas pozitīvas. Uh, so, you're still very positive, I, I suppose, uh, about bicycle riding. In general, <laughs> and you found your place where to stay? In Le- Lecce? In Riga, yeah. In Riga. No, uh, in France it is forbidden to bike with a pedestrian. On the same on pathway? On the same part, on the, and we are rev- very surprised. We are obliged to go there because when there is a blue with a circle, you are obliged to take this way. In yeah. France, when there is carré, you can choose the road on other way f- it's for bicycles you mean for bicycles. so in Latvia, when from- there is a circle you are obliged to take and they if i don't know here but if we are in france we are obliged to take the parts with pedestrian and here always we are we are with pedestrian uh, there's the cut our the cut our uh, following and we it is very difficult to 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 go with a pedestrian uh, always on the same pathway so that the ari kungs stāsta par savu pieredzi ka ir ļoti dīvaini viņam Latvijā piedzīvot situāciju ka ir šī zilā zīme kur ir gan riteņi braucējs gan gājējs vienkops kas saucās dalītais gājējs velo ceļš mm-hmm. Francijā un, un ja un Un, teiksim, Latvijā arī no nākamā gada šie ziemi nozīmēs, ka obligāti ir jābrauc citiem braucējiem par šo it kā dalīto velo ietri. Tur viņiem ir ietri. tā īsti nesaprot. Bet ne? Francijā tas vispār ir aizliegts, ka riteņu braucēji un gājēji ir dalīti, un īpaši jau šī zilā zīmes, nu, ka kas liek, viņu, ka liek obligāti braukt kopā. Un tā ir arī mana, var teikt, ka sāpe. It's also uh, a pity for me that this uh, sign where the pedestrian and bicycle rider are on the same blue circled sign, uh, traffic sign, um, from the next year in Latvia it will also be a must uh, to ride a bicycle on uh, these uh, signed uh, pavements basically sidewalks with, with a pedestrian you you walk 10 kilometers or 12 kilometers by hour mm-hmm. but when we do a long distance right distance, yeah it's impossible to get the... so what is your speed when you travel average speed 50 50 15, 15 to 18. 15 to 18, 18 kilometers per hour is And bicycle. when there is wind against us, like in yeah. uh, uh, Estonia once, uh, 12 only, but uh, often uh, 17, uh, mm-hmm. 18, 20, 20, 20, 20, even 20 even more. 23, it depends of wind. Yes, it's going to be yeah, flat. Yeah, yeah in yes, in this region flat. is flat. And yes, if yes. if you are with pedestrian, you are so you slow well, down. Yes, yes. You, slow down. you must to, you must to slow down there because it's dangerous. Uh, in yeah? France, uh, we mixed two only for children. Not for adults. Uh-huh, I mm-hmm, see. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, atri, uh, jā, to ātri izstulkoju, tātad uh, Žanam Pēram pieredze ir pavisam interesanti uh, šeit Latvijā izrādās. Uh, nu, par, par šiem te velo celiņiem. Jā, par celiņiem apvienotie. Tie, tātad viņi, tā, turis braucienā ātrum. braucot, vidējais ātrums ir 15 līdz 23 km stundā, es tā saprotu, bieži 17 un vairāk. Atkarībā, Atkarībā no vēja virzienu, bet... Uh, teiksim, uz šīm dalītām velo ietvēm, tad ātrums ir vienkārši jāsamazina būtiski, lai neuzpatiektos virsū gājējiem. Un ja Francijā nu... to izmantojot tikai bērni braukājot. Jā, tikai tajā. bērni apvienu, pieaugšas cilvēki nedrīkst braukt pa ietvi kopā vienā plūksmā ar satiksmi, ar gājējiem. Ok, tātad Jean so, Pierre un Arlet ir šeit velo tūristi. We'll continue no... after the, ja, the song, jā? Yeah? Well, yeah. Turpināsim pēc iespēc. Correct. Tagad sijā un Fire Meets Gasoline un pēc tam Dainas turpinās saruna ar mūsu šīs pēcpusdienas fiesēm. 18 un 21 minūti. No arī mēs tā aizskatrā, ja pareizāk sakot dziesmas laikā, ar Daini runājāmies ar Daini šīs dienas fiesēm, Jean-Pierre un Arlette no Parīzes, no Francijas, un izrādās, ka Igaunijā esot viss kārtībā tur ar braukšanu, ar velo braukšanu. So, yeah, uh, can you one more uh, tell me one what's, more what's the difference in Estonia and Latvia you noticed already now in the bicycle rules? 
In Estonia, we were very, very zen because when we arrive in a cross road, uh, even if we have a stop and the other road have no stop, the car of the other road stopped and they want we go first. And they were in a hurry because I, I don't know that the rule. Okay. But in all cross in Estonia, you it Estonia is 100 kilometers, and all cross bicycle have priorities. But on the all cross. Ritten brought some mega on the visa. Cross the road was priority. Cross the road was priority. Machine up there. Spot the Ritten brought some mega. What's that up there? There's something not up there. Machine tomorrow never up there. So it's a big difference. You already noticed ah, yes, something. Yes, because it was very easy to to bike in Estonia. In uh, it's not the case Estonia, in Latvia. Yeah. And here it was very difficult. Cars, uh, trucks. But you they, took the It was very, very near of you us. You took the A- A1, the main road, But the, right? same, the same road in Estonia, they, they go slowly if they, 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 they go slowly and they, they, they take a lot of place. Uh-huh. Here, no, no. They, uh, yeah, it's the, the, actually, it's very dangerous, uh, I think, for in, the bicycle riders in Latvia. The same road, A1 is the same pretty road busy in Estonia is not fast. dangerous. Ok, nu redziet, tad arī vēl atšķirība ar Latvijas bija Baltika šosei. Latvijas daļā tad ir bīstamā kritīmbraucējiem turistiem. Smagie visi ņem. Netāl neievēro apzīšanas distanci, nesmaz nātrumu, ir bīstamāk. Tad, nu, Jean-Pierre novērojumi. Uh, Jean-Pierre, your uh, job experience so far are also connected with bicycles and not also bicycles, but public transport. And uh, you worked uh, basically in Paris as a, uh, as a planner not a planner but uh, what was your job uh, or duties in paris for planning uh, public transport and also bicycle infrastructure uh, some 10 years ago yeah i suppose yes uh, it was not only paris it was all the region of paris paris, paris region I- ile de france the, 10 the millions the re- yeah? 10 million habitants yeah so we had a budget to help uh, bicycle but this budget go after in each city with a project mm-hmm. and my problem my uh, problem was i was on a green party yeah. and the right party d- did not like a bicycle so when uh, we ha- i had a project in city right party there is a little fight even in paris around this month uh, with right uh, uh, party Uh, they, they, they was fighting uh, when we do anything and they was saying oh it's no good for car so it's you difficult. had opposition yeah. and you had to fight it but uh, you, mo- you think your opposition was mostly political not not uh, tr- car drivers no no car, no car drivers in, uh, uh, in Latvia we at the moment try to introduce velo infrastructure in Riga and we have uh, this opposition very strong from car users yeah yes and because we- Riga is also very central in Latvia and the surround Surroundings are the like so sleeping areas where people just sleep and then take a car to the Riga center every day. And uh, we have probably you have similar. Uh, yes, problems, we huh? had, we, and there is also pro- uh, no problem with cars because Paris uh, is uh, th- there is less and less uh, cars because uh, in Paris we stop street. For cars. for cars, you close them, and they are not uh, happy. Sure, so, but yeah. uh, but how do you reach this political decision? Basically, it's political at the one po- point. The, the political is against the f- uh, right, not the cars, because the cars uh, they are obliged to do. Uh, What do you say? Uh, yes, and when, uh, when we, we decide, <laughs> only right uh, can uh, say no, no, no. I don't want that. Okay, that uh, Jean Pierre, we are politics periods, and because the interesting thing is the statics and planning and project that is the snozer. Parīzē, ne tikai Parīzē, bet Parīzes reģiona, kurā ir 10 miljonu iedzīvotāji, tad piecreiz vairāk nekā Latvijā. Un uh, Žans Pērsis strādājis pie dažādiem projektiem, dažādās uh, Parīzes tā kā sappilsētās, jeb apakšpilsētās, kurā tad tomēr pēc politiskās piederības ir, sar, nu, loģiski grūtāk projekti izbīdām, bet uh, ko uzsver Žans Pērs, ka tā kā vadība noņa, no, nolem, pielem, tā visi Parīzes iedzīvotāji pieskaņojās tam, ja piemēram ielu aiztaisa automašīnām, tad galvenie bļāvēji nevis autobraucēji, kas ir pret šo, bet taisnī opozīcija, politiski oponenti, kas, nu, acīm redzēt savādāku politiskā kultūru šajā valstī Parīzē, Francijā. Uh, ok, uh, when you started to plan your bicycle infrastructure in Paris, like 10-12 years ago, uh, what your goal at the moment is very, very ambitious, to basically stop cars in how many years, in 2030? We don't want to stop 
all Com- cars. Yeah. We want to stop cars who are going from far and uh, we want the traffic uh, and we want they stop at uh, to come in city center yeah yes yeah, they don't yeah. come in the city except the, if they have uh, anything to do really mm-hmm. but a lot of cars cross only Paris yeah so what will be your instruments to do that will you introduce a, a pay payment like uh, no that no, fee no 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 or to, or you no to to make difficult for car to do they have uh, in France is Strasbourg the first uh, city we do we did that yeah. uh, it was very difficult in Strasbourg 10 years ago or f- uh, tw- uh, mm-hmm. near mm-hmm. Th- mm-hmm. 50, uh, 15 years ago to go inside because they do a, a lot of stop of, of interdiction yeah. and uh, to go th- p- people uh, to go by car is more th- difficult is, uh, yeah. half an hour one hour okay. and they do that once and never, never and again. in Paris <laughs> now it is uh, we do about Similar. the same and uh, the, is the local people more happy with the fact yes, that uh, you can be, because be in, in Paris half, half of population of Paris has no car and in the center of Paris the fourth arrondissement one family on four has oh, car, car, yeah. car and uh-huh. three of, of four has no car so they they, they wanted they voted mm-hmm. for this okay and what is it the, sounds a yeah. plan for for that like uh, you know the car drivers uh, can not like it you know yeah that sounds like but sounds still like, there are so many people without cars in Paris So they are still majority without yeah, cars, yeah? Yeah, I think that, nu, es domāju, ka ir Rīgā mēs uztaisīt kaut ko tam līdzīgi, nu, kaut kādas, kā saka, um, nu, problēmas auto vadītājiem, lai viņi nebrauk centrā. Nu, tas ir plānots ir, daļai pakāpēc. Tas jau ir, tas ir 2003. tagad programmā iep, iekļauts, neuztraucies. Tas viss mums būs arī. <laughs> okay. uh, we, have, we, have a, we have a 2030 program in Rīga, uh, which will also introduce the same idea that uh, by, you can't drive car through very easily, but you can do it. Slower. Because you you can do it by political people, not car people. They, uh-huh. they car people they cannot do, do anything. Yeah, but they have strong <laughs> voice in Latvia. At yeah, least. Uh, <laughs> we have more car car people. No, are, uh, in, yes, but in France uh, the, the city is Paris. Outside they don't vote. So Amsterdam, <laughs> Amsterdam. Okay. Uh, Sky it's the same in yeah. Amsterdam. The pop, uh, people of the interior of city. Uh, they like there is no lot of cars it's a uh, better air uh, it's uh, easier to go yes, by bikes he, and last question for you can you say at the moment uh, how many people like we have hundreds uh, rides how many of them in paris are by bike if a family takes let's say go to different like go to work go to shop go to somewhere else how many of these uh, how many per- he, big percentage uh, of the all uh, road uh, trips is made by bicycle at the moment in paris can you say around Six years ago, it was one percent. Now it's six or seven percent. Oh, it's similar. So it's a very big uh, group. Yeah. Uh, Strasbourg is ten uh, percent. Bordeaux is ten uh, percent also. Mm-hmm. Uh, And what's your Amster- goal? What's your goal? We, we want twenty percent. Once exactly as Riga once in 2030. <laughs> Nu, 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 tik caur tam centram, tāpēc arī viņi mums tur nebrauc. Ok, thank you very much for your time and for your visit. Uh, have a safe trip further through Latvija and through Lithuania. It was interesting to, 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 thank to listen. You. Thank you very much. Thank you to you. Paldies. Paldies. <laughs> yeah. Paldies. Uh, Jans Pierce un Arlet and uh, have a good trip and uh, have a good holidays. And, and I'm sure yeah. you're, we are a good trip. Un mēs turpināsim lopēc ziņām. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Tu klausies 5 LV.